All right, so this is take two on this problem because I did it wrong the first time. I realized at the very, very end after doing the whole problem, I did it wrong. It's because I haven't done these in a while. So when I look at this, I notice right away they all have a five. All right, so there's a GCF in there. Either I have to pull it out at the end like I did in the fourth example up at the top of this, of this page, or I take it out right now. Um, probably for me personally, it'd be easier to take it out at the end, but I want you guys sticking to the right steps. Press step one is GCF. So I should get five and then x to the third plus x squared plus uh, x plus one. All right, and I've got to get my two different groups here. So I've got that group and I've got this group. Inside of the purple, I can take out an x to the third. It's x squared, sorry, x squared. And inside of the orange, I can't take anything out. Remember, we have to take something out. So we're just going to take out a one because it has the greatest common factor of one as I have anything else. So now here's where you have to be careful. This is where I made my mistake. This five has to live outside of everything else that's going to happen in here. All right. So when I go through, I'm going to show you what I mean in a second. I'm going to take my x squared out of each of these. I'm going to move through them there. So I'm going to have an x squared, uh, x squared times x plus one. All right. I'm thinking more carefully. So I want to do the third video. I'm going to take a one out of each of these. So I'm going to have plus one times X plus one. All right. And now the really important thing here and what I messed up is this five lives out front of everything that's going to happen inside of these parentheses. So don't stuff it back in there. All right. I had it go with the X squared and that's just, that's not how this works. So I have five and then parentheses. All right. And now I'm going to factor this thing. So it has an X plus one and it has and x squared plus one. All right, that five lives out there. Now, I don't necessarily, I don't actually need those parentheses. I put them there to make sure that I got myself to do this the right way. It ends up just being five times x plus one times x squared plus one. But if you saw the original video, I had the five with this x squared inside of that parentheses and it doesn't belong there. All right, so if you do pull a GCF out first, let it hang out there all the way till the end and then just put it back in front of whatever you do inside the parentheses. It's important to be careful with stuff like that.